Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we have a bunch of Rainbow High Series 5 news. So let's just get into it. Okay, <laughs> so first up, we finally have actually like the full on stock photos of every Series 5 doll. Here is a little, you know, lineup of all of the dolls together. It's not very high quality, but it's still a lineup. And then first up, we have Priscilla Perez. And you know, some of these we have seen in my reaction video. Like I think we've seen this picture of her in a box, but we haven't seen her little accessory picture here uh and i think she's probably like the only doll to come with a laptop or no wait aiden comes with one as well but like i think the laptops in this series are kind of scarce so they don't they don't all come with laptops which is different from series two shadow high i feel like shadow high series two a lot more of the dolls came with like laptops and like you know bottles and like here in this series everyone basically comes with like makeup hair dryers sunglasses or some kind of drink and that's and it. like the way that priscilla grew on me so quickly since like the first reaction video is honestly crazy because she's probably like one of my favorites right now it's insane like she is so pretty I, I just i think the you know specific shade of like flamingo pink really grows on you and like i love flamingos and i think the pink is just so vibrant and unique and it's not like a neon pink it's not like a like a just a bright pink it's like flamingo pink it's like a very specific hue and shade of red mixed with pink and it's just this gorgeous mix of both and it's just the, the outfit and like her her little frilled stole and whatever i feel like even though her pieces are very you know like she only has like two pieces on but the gloves and the details and then the rhinestones and the, the little shoes the heels and her hairstyle is basic but then look at her eyeliner and her earrings and her lipstick i just think it's like she's not perfect but like dang you know she could have been perfect and like to me i still think she's like again like she's my favorite like by far i, I don't know why i just is it because she's pink yeah probably but i switch i just think yeah it's just like the outfit and then the eye color and everything just works so well i just think cohesive wise and like design wise she just has like a really good outfit on and like yeah again would she have looked better with like a longer dress on and like maybe a tanner skin tone yeah but you know this is what we got and i still think like she really served <laughs> next up we have michelle saint charles since we are going in rainbow order and there is a rainbow gradient to this series even if it's not very obvious Here we have her accessories and i forgot to mention this but i'm so glad with the colors that they chose for the doll stands and combs for both priscilla and michelle there they do seem to be new colors and i'm very excited because i do collect the combs for rainbow high dolls and i have a little stack of them in rainbow order so whenever we get new rainbow high dolls i'm always very excited to like you know put in the new combs in uh their little slots in the order and it's like it even gets bigger so it's it's always very exciting michelle looks really stunning i think the hairstyle even if it could have looked better uh, as an afro i think the hairstyle is really nice because it's a shorter hairstyle and the bob kind of like look to it and the little hairpins and the boots like the boots don't get me started the boots are like real fabric they're like white pleather material and then the the soles like the platforms are orange i love i think she's she also grew on me a lot um and she might be my new favorite orange doll maybe i don't know poppy's like very high on my list uh but <laughs> i think she looks stunning with it's just it all fits so perfectly together and i'm really glad that they're also using the new material on the jacket and it's not the same material that they use for the amaya rain uh, you know white hair amaya jacket because it's so stiff you can barely pose her but here you can actually seem you it actually seems you can pose her so it's a new material that they use like for uh junior high sunny so that's very good then we have victoria whitman who would be i guess like the sand beige like pink beige she's supposed to be like the yellow shade in the rainbow because like in the back of the boxes they're all lined up in like rainbow gradient so we go from priscilla to michelle and then we have victoria next to olivia who's green and then kim is blue and then aiden is supposed to be purple but he's really just gray and so for aiden and victoria they're both like kind of like uh, contradicting their positions in the lineup of the you know artwork so you know she, she does look lo more like like a new sand beige like yellow pink but realistically Basically, she's just like a blonde chick with like pink dress on like a pink skirt on like she's not really color themed <laughs> so that is gonna be a little frustrating when i have to you know put her in my rainbow high lineup because uh, i do follow a certain like general 
color theme and she doesn't really adhere to a single color theme so like i'm not sure where to put her am i gonna put her with the pink girls or am i gonna put her with like the more natural natural beige peach tones i'm not sure but i think she looks great like obviously i that hasn't changed for me i still think she's like really pretty and uh it's just the dalston maybe doesn't really fit her it's just too pink like she's more of like a like natural like rose pink almost like bella but bella's more like like a cooler shade of that pink and she's more like a warm shade of like like beige pink like a really nude pink but very warm you know and uh, she also looks like she would have gone to pacific coast high because she's very beachy looking like she has a very beachy vibe and i've seen people point it out as well so maybe she was scrapped from pacific coast line since you know pacific coast is uh canceled <laughs> apparently i mean yeah come on it is cancelled next we have olivia woods now i made a whole video about her unboxing so we really we've seen a lot of her we've seen basically all there is to her all her pieces are very well crafted though and her doll stand and brush are also in this new shade of green which i love and i already know where i'm gonna put her i'm gonna put her in between um jade and i think harley or yeah harley in between jade and harley because she is like a very medium uh, green but she's like a lighter medium green she's not very dark um so yeah i think she's really pretty obviously and uh i think she's just she really brings a new shade of green which we need we need more green dolls and i'm really glad that then she's we here. have the navy blue character uh kim and you know she went from being one of my favorites to being now on the outskirts of my favorites list for series five she kind of dropped hard i think that's because the shoes are lacking and the, the accessory department is also lacking like she has the earrings but honestly i would have rather given her a necklace because she has a lot of like bare space uh, around the neck area so she could have used a necklace much more than she would have used those earrings because the hair is going to cover it anyways um and if her shoes had served better if they were boots or if she had gotten socks like just uh, some tweaks you know she would have looked way better and more complete and cohesive but as is right now she is she's really pretty and i'm still gonna be really happy to get her but she's just really bland you know very lacking you know lackluster and last, so we finally have aiden russell joining the other two girls from the a's trio and you know what we're not going to talk about his hair we have some real life pictures later on uh so aside for the hair i think he looks very good he's a very accurate adaptation from the look he has in the series the outfit is very accurate um the jacket yes is a different fabric than it looks like in the series it no longer has that color shifting uh finish it it's just like gray now and uh, overall you know he does have a more a more gray look to him uh which is unfortunate i i really wish that they, they would have played into the per periwinkle and like color shifting uh factor more from his character from the series and then he could have made a really nice unique uh, purple shade but nope he's just gray now which is also okay um and so i think you know he's his face up is pretty i think the eyes are this new eye mold i think yeah he overall looks he, he's very cute like i i think to me and i like the rainbow high boidals that's why probably <laughs> i'm saying this but i think he's, he's fine he's fine y'all he's he's cute <laughs> moving on we have a in real life inbox look at priscilla perez thanks to at the dolly insider and here is also a close-up at her face up she's just so cute look at that eyeliner look at the lashes look at that eye color it's so unique it's like a hazel hazel green brown it's so unique the eyebrows the lips just look at that shade of the lipstick i'm living for it she's i'm obsessed with here's her. a real life picture uh, inbox of kim as well and while i you know while i said that you know she is a very lackluster looking doll out outfit wise i do appreciate that at least you know her makeup is very unique and very uh original like it is a makeup look that i definitely then love. thanks to at on cap eight lock uh, we have uh, actual on box images of priscilla i look at her she's she's my fave i i don't know what to say i mean i'm a sucker for pink so obviously but like just look at that shade of pink it looks even different from the stock photo so like that's fascinating to me how she's gonna actually look like in real life it's gonna be totally different probably it really depends on lighting and the picture quality and like how far away you take the picture of of, of her from like 
but she just looks stunning i'm i'm in love with her and she's i know it's crazy like she was not my favorite at first but she's grown on me and here's also the barcode if you're interested then next up thanks to at roxy dolls 116 on instagram we have more looks at victoria whitman and kim in real life in box pictures here they are out of the box look how cute kim is i think again you know she is lackluster but like that makeup the makeup is like doing her face justice i mean that hair and they did wash that hair so that's why it also looks probably better um just look at that natural lip look at those eyes reminds me of like reminds me of like husky eyes because they're very pale blue um here are the earrings which i mean they are pretty but like if they had turned these kind of like earrings into a necklace i would have been happier <laughs> and the shoes are so so simple um but the interesting thing here is that they actually uh because they washed the hair they also showed pictures of uh, victoria whitman's body and the freckles go all throughout the body that's not the interesting part the interesting part is that there's little hints of a blush all around her body like around her chest around her belly button around her like ankles around her knees around her uh, wrist around her like elbows it's it's so natural like makes her look like a porcelain doll it's so cute it's so cute and i don't know how they did it it's like with vitiligo with jewel richie i don't know how they did it but it's like magic it looks so cute and then look at victoria and, and kim slaying here with and lastly we have to talk about the hair situation for aiden so yeah this this is how it looks like from the back I don't know what to call this. Is there a name for a hairstyle like this? Uh, obviously, you saw the reference picture of what his hair actually looks like from the back in the series, which I never actually paid attention to. So it's kind of weird that it looks so different. Um, so not only, number one, he has tinsel in his hair. Number two, he has these weird random strokes of like pastel colors in his hair. It's like so out of nowhere. And then number three, um, just the way it's cut and styled and gelled is a mess so yeah it's a little bit sucky that you know aiden's hair looks like a hot mess hot trash fire garbage but uh you know what it's okay you can wash it and it'll probably look better and you can cut it obviously i feel like anything other than this would look good on him <laughs> okay i'm i mean it does look bad but like you know what am i gonna wash his hair no i'm lazy i don't have time to wash any of my doll's hair i've i never washed my doll's hair so i'm not gonna wash his hair um i'm just gonna try to pick out the best one in store and i'm just gonna live with the fact that he has a half mullet going on situation in the back and he just looks yeah so it's unfortunate but like what are you gonna do it's his hair it's what mj gave us and like you know what it's yeah it's it is what it is <laughs> So while there are some faults in series 5, overall, this is a strong series. Is it as good as Shadow High series 2? Probably not. Probably not. But it's still very good in its own right. And I'm very excited to get them. I cannot wait. I ordered uh, my Shadow High series 2 dolls mostly. I got Rex on Amazon. I got the five girls on Smith's Toys. Um, and I had to go return two of them because there were... Yeah, Zoe was missing her doll stand and... Uh, uh, Monique, yeah, that's her name. <laughs> Forgot her. Monique was uh had some defect with the makeup. So, um, will I order them again? No, I will probably save myself the agony and just you know try to get them in store. Um, I just hope I don't have to wait until like winter, you know, to get them. <laughs> that was the video. I want to know who your favorites are down below, and yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. Leave me a like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you haven't already, so you don't miss out when I post more content like this coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the dolty you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy kisses and happy weekend